Hello everyone, it's Alessandra and today I'm going to be showing you how to make sugar-free cherry pie filling, just like I promised on Halloween. First, wash and then dry two pounds of cherries and then take all of their stems off. Obviously keep them in a separate bowl, don't include them in the recipe. And then once the stems are removed, it's time to take the pits out. I actually bought a cherry depitter to get the pits out, but if you don't have one, you can use a metal straw or something else. I wouldn't cut the cherries in half because you're going to need them whole for the recipe. And there we go. And that's just a bowl of cherry pits. I know some people would probably say you could save them for this or that. I don't really know a purpose for them, so I just get rid of them. I have a pan set to medium low, and it's just heating up so we could add our cherries. And now I'm adding two pounds of cherries. Obviously, you guys saw me wash and depit them. And we're just going to get ready to add one fourth of a cup of water. There we go. And yes, it's just one fourth. That's all we need because the cherries have liquid in them. And now I'm adding one cup of sugar-free sweetener. This is a mixture of monk fruit and stevia. It's my favorite go-to for this recipe. And I'm just stirring it in. My pan is still going, obviously. We're gonna be scraping from the bottom. It's actually more efficient to stir while I'm not filming, but I wanted you guys to see every step, so hopefully you kind of get the idea. We're gonna do this till there's no more white bits. There we go. Now that it's simmering, we're gonna lower the heat, not all the way down, but just a smidge. Beautiful. We're pressing down on the cherries to see if they're nice and soft. We want some of them broken for the flavor, but some of them whole so you could tell it's a cherry filling and that the filling is not too watery. Looks pretty good, nice and evenly cooked. Now it's time to add a tablespoon of flour. I'm using regular white flour, but you could also use oat flour if you need it to be gluten free. Some people use starch, but I think that over thickens it and makes it kind of like, almost like a jelly, which I don't want. And we're just gonna stir that till it's simmering. Oh, there we go. Now we're gonna spend the next five minutes stirring this while it simmers so it gets nice and thick. And there you have it. The sugar-free cherry pie filling I promised you guys two Halloweens ago when I was making the cake you saw in the beginning of the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy everyone!